is, uh, is there anything that I can do? Yeah. You can get out of here for a start. That's what you want. Uh, let me know, will you please, if there are any new developments. We will, darling. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll see what I can do about stalling the Star Eyes people. Oh, good, good. We'll be in touch, doll. Yes. When he was born, something terrible happened. He lived. Tell me about this, uh, this guy, Delphine. What guy? The photographer. Oh, Mel. Oh, he's so cute. He's adorable, but he's not Laura's type. That's not what I meant. Then what did you mean? Well, is there anything, um, weird about him? Suspicious, out of the ordinary? No, not that I could tell. I mean, he's just like your typical brilliant photographer. You know, more interested in his cameras and lenses than his models. <laughs> but what did Laura think of him? I don't know. She never said much about him. No, just, uh, he was very friendly and they was very easy to work with. She said that. The only suspicious character she mentioned to me was that man. You know, you remember the man she thought was This guy with the, the, the sapphire ring. That's the one, yeah. The night she stayed at my place, she talked a lot about him. Well, besides the sapphire ring, I mean, what else did she mention? Well, she said that he was very tall and had piercing eyes. <laughs> Nothing else? No. That's it. That's exactly what she told us. Yeah. There's not much to go on. What else do we have? Mm. Well, I guess it's something. A tall man with piercing eyes is something? <laughs> no, it's going to be impossible to find him. I, without his name, I mean, it's impossible. Not well, necessarily. What? Darling, there are millions of tall men with piercing eyes. Believe me, I've dallied with dozens of them. Are you on to something, Robert? Maybe. You remember that Laura mentioned to Luke something about a character who was on the first flight she went to, when she went to New York? Uh, and if he were following her... He would have been on the last exactly. flight. Exactly. Well, how will you know if you don't know his name? Tiffany? The manifest, of course. What manifest? The flight manifest. Now, look. What we do is we get the, the passenger lists from the first flight she took and compare that to the passenger list from the last flight she took, and... And hopefully they match. I see. You're yes. a tall man with piercing eyes and a sapphire stone. Except this time we'll have a name. Well, where do you get these manifests? Uh, well, we've already got one of them. Yeah, now all we have to do is just get the one from her first flight. From the airlines. Do you think it's oh. going to be a problem? <laughs> In view of the problems we gave them last time, I think they should be most cooperative. Oh, good. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's go to the airport. Okay. Grab my coat. What about me? Oh, darling, uh, I think maybe you better go to my apartment and wait for uh, Laura here. Oh, yeah, look. Give her the keys. We'll let you know if, uh, if anything happens. You better. Yeah. Oh, what about Luke? I'll leave him a note. Oh, good. Okay. Well, who is uh, helping you with this search? Just about everybody in town, darling. Oh, then we'll find her. Oh, sure. don't we'll worry. Well, hello there. Remember me? Mr. Scorpio. You look especially cooperative today. Okay, then I'll assume that you're here for more information. Isn't that obvious? Which manifest is it this time? Flight 760, New York to Port Charles. Okay, what date? January 6th. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Do better than that, please. Just get it for me. What is wrong with you? I've never seen you so testy. We're running out of time, Tiffany. Yeah. Look, when a person disappears, every minute they're away from you means they're that much further away. If we're going to find Laura, we've got to do it now. Otherwise, it's too late and we're all wasting our time. Here it is. It's January 6th, flight 760. Good girl. You've earned your wings. Look here. Okay. So we've got this. What's wrong, Robert? This isn't going to work. Why not? I've already found two women and one guy, both on the same flights. So? These are not the only two flights that Laura took, okay? She flew back and forth between here and New York quite a few times in the last month. Now, all we have to do is just get all of the passenger list, and then we might find a pattern there. You are a genius. Here's a pencil. Now listen, you write down all the dates that uh, Laura was in New York, okay? Oh, I just hope I can remember them. Well, just do the best you can. I'll phone Luke. He will definitely know all the dates. Okay. Oh, uh, try McKellie's because he said that he and the detective were going to use that as a uh, home base, okay? Well, what was that all about? That's for being smart than anybody generally gives you credit for. Let me see your business. 
Well, you think you have something? Maybe. Just maybe. What is it? Where? Eureka! What? 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 There. 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 And there. The only name that appears on all the lists. D. Gray. Right. All we have to do now is find out if Mr. D. Gray is tall and has piercing eyes. And wears a sapphire ring. Right. Let's go find Luke. How about some more coffee? Oh, Rose, I, I got more caffeine in my veins than blood right now. Thank you. I no. think I'll pass, too. I wish there was something I could do for you. Thanks. There's just got to be somebody else you can call. I don't know who. I've been thinking of... Robert, who else can I call? Do you know anybody I can... We've done it all at the moment. Come here, beer, Rosie, quick. I need something to calm me down. It's a problem, right? No problems. Except for some poor girl just got splattered all over the street. Oh, no. A car accident? Bad one, too. Where? Corner 3rd and Franklin. And grim, really grim. Somebody got hurt. She was in bad shape when they put her in the ambulance. Sure hope she makes it. Oh, uh, a girl had an accident? Yeah. I don't think she even knew what hit her. Hey, easy. Come on. Easy, easy. Now, what'd she look like? Did you look at her? Yeah. Couldn't miss. She was a real good looker. How old was she? Oh, I don't know. I can't judge age. Take a guess. 20, maybe. You say she was really good looking? Yeah, prettiest picture. Uh, what about her hair? Did you see her hair? Yeah, well, it's all falling down her shoulders, and streetlights made it shine. Hey, what color was hey, it, hey, man? Take it easy, pal. No, I'm sorry. But what color? What, what color was her hair? Blonde. It could be Laura. No. no. Hey, hey where, where'd they take her? The hospital, where else? Uh, Which hospital? General, I think. Give me the phone. 